what's just one sure way where I can tell in one split second if someone is a well-trained coach or not. And that is when they ask the question, why? Why, 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 why? Why is that such a key indicator to me? Well, first of all, one, it appears that they're not trained in asking questions. How to ask questions that make the unconscious conscious, how to ask questions to light the brain up, how to ask questions to find out what the problems are, how to ask questions to come with a solution, how to ask questions to actually coach it, how to ask questions that to discover strengths, how to ask questions, and so to do all of your work requires you to know how to ask questions. And the question isn't 99% of the time, why? So coaches that are not trained use the word why, why do they do that? Well, first of all, I think our brain really defaults to why did this happen to me? Why, 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 why? You know, that's, that's where we get stuck in our self-talk. Why, why did this person do that to me? Why did I do that? Why? Even little children ask the question, why? So we're trained to ask why, except it's not effective. It's when we start ruminating and getting stuck. And, you know, we, we've learned that from our parents. There's to, to, to think about why do I have this obstacle? Also, therapists, that's another reason why I think people use the word why. Therapists use the word why to psychoanalyze. Well, here's the problem. Coaching has nothing to do with psychoanalysis. Coaching has nothing to do with whys. In fact, another reason why you want to avoid the question why is, is the question why leads to more content. Oh, in 1983, in my bad childhood, you know, why? Even if you know the answer, there's no solution. And you can really be wrong about why certain things are happening. It's like, how do you know that that's true? Well, that, that, that's the real why. And we get over-focused on that why. So when I hear coaches using the word why, personally, I'm someone who hires coaches, I'm trained coaches, I invest in coaches. To me, that's the dead giveaway, poor training. They act like a friend or they like at a pseudo therapist. So what are better questions to ask them? Well, there's a whole series of questions that are better to ask, <laughs> almost any other question, but that's beside the point. That requires NLP training and to, to learn how to ask these questions. And I teach this both in the online training as well as the trainings that I do live on, on Bali in Amsterdam, Los Angeles, um, Mexico, right? It's called the meta model. But I'll give you a few examples of better questions than why, 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 why. And that is who specifically, what specifically, how specifically. Those are three example questions already that are taken from brilliant psychotherapists and brilliant interviewers that they use over and over to really get to the surface um, what is otherwise deleted, distorted, and, and generalized, as we say in NLP. So that is one giveaway. So make sure, guys, when you make videos, stop with the lies. It gives you away. See you around.